so I'm going to be converting the Recruit Edition, and this is my first guy. Let me actually zoom in. So, this is the first guy. Pretty cool pose, got his arm up. I'm just going to do your basic ultra non-captain standard grunt guy. So the upgrades I'm going to be doing. First off, he's a death watch, so I've got to replace that shoulder pad. Now obviously that shoulder pad is molded into the arm, so I'm going to have to snip it off. And to do that, I'm going to be using these snip snip. So that can be scary for a lot of people. It's not actually that terrible. Um, so I'm going to be putting this guy on there. We'll set that there. Uh, next up, we've got the other shoulder pad. It's going to be an ultramarine shoulder pad, so that's going to go there. So that obviously has to get snipped. And then I'm not going to use this standard head that came with it. I'm going to use an ultramarine upgrade head. It has the actual ultramarine logo on the head. And then, um, because I like the Death Watch Company um, targeters, I'm going to put a targeter on the backpack. This is something I 3D printed. And then, I'm also going to add a series of uh, purity seals. So these are little purity seals that I've printed. The crappy thing about Assault Intercessors, they can only ever have a heavy bolter pistol and the uh, chain sword, unless they're a sergeant. So I'm pretty limited there. There are tons of different upgrade kits that I've bought and stuff that I've printed that would be cool to do like <laughs> um, something really custom. Can't do that if you want to play with an Assault Intercessor though. So it's a pretty straightforward upgrade. So let me um, bump over it and start trimming these arms. One arm off. And the other arm off. So get out your cutters, your flush cutters. You want to have nice precise flush cutters. Uh, and actually I'm going to switch to my brand new Citadel cutters. These are the ones that come in the paint kit. They are super sharp um, and they are nice and flush. Basically what you need to think about is you want to retain this part because if you cut into that you're going to have a hell of a time getting it to stay on the model and it's going to be weak. So you want to try to stay out here and give yourself plenty of meat to actually attach the arm on. Now if you've got awkward arms that um, you want to use different poses, um, you can like completely cut this plate off and pose them how you want and then fill it in with green stuff. I've got some liquid green stuff. I've also got the um, the brand that green stuff is made out of. Um, but basically you just get into cutting. Bink, there it goes. These things are gonna be launching all over the place. Now I wanna retain that wire. I don't wanna to try to cut into that, so I'm gonna work around the opposite way first. So, yeah, scary, right? Helps you have a beer before this. Just calm down. probably good. I don't know. Let's go there. Yeah. All right. That took off a lot. So we're just trying to whittle this down until it is about the size of this guy. So we want it to be about that size. As you can see, you have to take off a lot to get there. We'll get there though. Pretty quickly with these brand new cutters. Um, so again, we want to keep that area around the outside. So, I'm going to work a little slower now. Just kind of gradually snipping off little bits. And we want to try to get that general shape. Mm. 
Now, if you aren't confident in at all in your abilities, obviously try to find a sacrificial mini that you do not care about. Like this is recruit edition. It, it wouldn't. I'm an adult. I make decent money. It's not gonna ruin my day if I have a total fail at this. And as you can see, this isn't something prepared. I'm doing this on the spot in front of the camera. And if I screw up big time, it's for everybody to see. And I will be uploading this video. So I may have taken off a little too much, but whatever. I got green stuff to fill it in if I absolutely have to. So let's just do a test fit. That actually might be really good. I've got plenty on this side. I've taken off maybe a little too much. You can see there's a hole now. But, boom. My shoulder is actually fitting on pretty well now. I think I think I do need to take off a bit more somewhere though. And I think it's depth. I think there's too much depth. Especially right there. I think I need to take off that, which is really close to that wire, so I gotta be really careful. Alright. Oh, come on, boy. Let's go in this way first, because we don't want to cut that way and end up snipping. The wire off. Alright, so that's all the way through. Boom, got it. Pretty handy. Alright, so I think now we just need to take off that nub that's kind of sticking out so that the shoulder can fit a little lower. And man, these, these cutters, even though they're not like the super fancy um, dark reddish colored color cutters from uh, Citadel. These are really, really cutting really nicely. All right, so there we go. All right, now I think the problem is height. There's a little too much up here. So I'm gonna be very careful. Take off that little bit. And this little bit. Measure twice, cut once. We still have a little too much height. But you know what? We're getting there. And I could probably tilt the shoulder to hide. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good now. So as you can see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, next step. We're going to take the Marine. We're going to fit the arm onto the Marine. Boom, he's got his arm on. Now, before we glue anything or do anything crazy that's not easily reversed, we're gonna fit the shoulder pad on. Just gonna see how it looks. Then, bam, that actually looks pretty good. It rests in nicely. There's not a big gap down there. Okay, so you actually see it. Not a big gap. Rest in pretty flush. Probably won't need to green stuff anything there. Um, you can't really see too much of the cut cut stuff up here, especially once the paint's on. Like don't don't sweat it too much. Like if you're worried about, oh god, that's that's kind of whitish. It's like, you know what? Once you put paint on that, it's just gonna completely disappear. So calm down. Calm down. Yeah, this looks good. So now it's just a matter of getting it into the right position. Tilting that up, that looks good. All right, put some glue on it. Uh, but first we wanna make sure that the arm is at exactly the right angle we want. And for this guy, I'm just gonna go with whatever is as flush as possible. He's pointing forward, he's like, dude, that way, kill those guys, they're Xenos. <laughs> and then, like that way, yeah, pretty level. We don't want him to be like, Ooh! Point at the sky. That's not where the enemy is. They are that away. Let's murder those fools. Or he's mid strike and he's like chopping somebody's head off. Anyway, that looks pretty good. His arm is pretty flush in there. All right. So first step, let's just glue that arm. Boop boop boop. Ciao. 
get the arm into the right position. All right, now we can do the shoulder pad. This is the moment of truth. So let's apply a generous amount of glue all around to try to fill in some of the gaps that might be created. All right, that's a good amount of glue. <sighs> Just boom. Look at that. We've got a death watch. Tilt it just a little bit. Yeah, pretty sweet. All right, so now we're on to the ultramarine side. We're going to put this shoulder pad on this. So here we go. We're going to do the same thing as the other one. You want to kind of get down into these uh, corners here. That's the easiest way to start because you can get your snips down in there and get nice and flush away from the arm. I'll show you like that. And then you can, making sure that you're clearing the arm and you're not going to, have to be snipping it off at the elbow. Always check a few times before you start cutting. Kapow! That took off a good chunk. Oh no, my marine! Let's do the other side. Ciao. So that's much narrower. Now we're gonna move, keep moving around because it does have a nice indent in there. Nice little area to get the cutters in there and snip. So, just eyeballing it before I snip. Boom, that took off another big chunk. All right, now here's where it gets a little tricky because we're out of, out of negative space to kind of get our cutters into. Now we've got this overhang that we can target. And then the rest of it is just meat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the rest of the top of the shoulder pad and I'm going to cut out, because we can always remove more. However, we cannot screw up and add it back unless we use green stuff. Like I said before, green stuff is not perfect. So it's better just to get it right the first time out. All right, that's looking pretty good. And also, another thing to think about is this hole is drilled that way. So it goes straight through. If you're looking at it this way, it's kind of going off in that angle, or this angle. So you want to be mindful of that, because if you cut too far off, uh, if I were to start digging into this part right here, I'd be exposing that hole. So, and I may end up doing that. It's not, a, not the end of the world if you do it, but just be mindful of the direction. Like we want to try to cut on either side going that way. And then we want to Flipping it this way, try to take it off the shoulder that way. So and I'm going to start nipping at this. And with how with how sharp these cutters are, man, like I can just get a little bit of a bite into it, and then just ease, slowly cut. Boom. Yeah, see that went all the way through. So now I got to be really careful. But, not a big deal. I've still got plenty of meat. just want to take it off of the shoulders now. Pretty soon I'm going to start measuring. Because I've got kind of feel for the general shape of these things. I've done a few of these so far. Check it on that side. Yeah, still looks pretty good. Just want it kind of nice and rounded. There we go. I think we can stress test that. Boom. It's close. It's still too tall. Still too tall. And just a little bit too wide. As you can see here, just a little too wide. So I think I'm going to target that side right there. 
because the hole, as you can see, is going through that way. So we've got more meat over here. the width issue yeah pretty good yeah oh, that's better but the depth I could probably just take off a little tiny bit more right there and the depth there's some meat right here that actually might be enough don't want to overdo it let's try that yeah, that's about, that's about right. Still sitting out just a little bit proud, but that's not a big deal because it's gonna be hidden inside there. So let's test this side. That's looking pretty good. Okay, yeah, I think I could take a little bit out of there. You can see how that's kind of sticking out just a little bit. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to use a table as something to cut against. So we cut off quite a bit. You can see the hole goes all the way through. Took off quite a bit on that side. You can see the hole on the other side. That's not a big deal though because we got plenty of meat. And we flattened it up pretty good. So if you do a test fit, take the other shoulder pad. You rest it in there. That is pretty flush. Should look pretty sweet. So, time to glue. Take the shoulder, the arm, stick it on the model. Nice and flush. Looking good. Alright, so now we're going to glue that. Well, first, first, before we glue, let's not rush anything. Take the shoulder, double check. Oh, see, it's a good thing I checked, because I think that little bit right at the top is a little too peaky. It's causing the shoulder to sit up just a, just a little too high. So, coming around. Yeah. So leaving this on the model, I'm just going to take off that little bit right here. Oop. Just work my way around. All right. Don't want to overdo it. So. You can see now it's more of a smooth transition. Boom. Yeah, and that's resting nicely. Okay. If we spin it around. Yeah, nice and tight. All right. Moment of truth. <sighs> Time to glue. Here we go. Good amount of glue on there. Not too much. We also don't want to go too light. Have some gaps. So now we're just going to set pad on there and then just check. We got time. Is there a bigger gap in the back? A little bit. So let's just rock it just a little bit. There. Okay, in the front. Can't see any. Doesn't look like it was cut. This looks like it came from the factory like that. <laughs> so, pretty nice. We now have a Death Watch Assault Intercessor. I'm going to leave him like that. Let that one dry. And then I'll show you what I've got planned for the other guys. Okay, so the other 
four intercessors. We've obviously got a sergeant and two or three more of these guys. So this one, um, I'm using the arm from actually an outrider. And you can see it's a little bit wonk. It's not quite lined up the right way. But once we chop it, once we chop the shoulder pauldron off, I'll be able to um, hide that with the pauldron. So I'm not too worried about it. I think that pose just looks pretty sweet. Because um, the other arms, I mean, they weren't as impressive. Like, I think his arm was, like, super way low, and it was like, what, what is he doing? This is more like, hey, I'm diving. I'm about to wreck you. So I think that looks pretty sweet. This guy is going to be Iron Hand. He's got his Iron Hand on him already. I'm going to swap out that pauldron. That's going to be a little hairy because he's got this really cool Iron Hand. I don't want to mess that up. And I think this Iron Hand came with the, the Recruit Edition, too, on the sprue. Um, I'm also going to probably snip off this and replace it with this guy. Iron Hand Pulver. Uh, next guy, this dude is going to be a White Scar. He's already got his White Scar arm kind of pre-placed. It has a hole in it that I was able to wedge on there. So he's got kind of like a, I just started running pose. Um, this is also the guy that, um, well, he's a White Scar, so he's just not going to wear a helmet. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's just going to wreck fools. Uh, but I've got one of his... Uh, Skull flare items from the upgrade kit and um, the targeter and another white scar piece of flare that looks pretty cool. So he's going to be all kitted up. This guy is going to be Raven Guard, the uh, black and white shoulder pauldron. Um, he too is not going to be wearing a helmet. But the really cool thing, check this out. I 3D printed this. I found this file on Thingiverse. That is a raven skull, or some kind of bird skull, on a chain. And the chain actually printed on the Mars 2 Pro. Look at that. So I'm going to loop it over his shoulder. I'm going to glue it into place once I'm done painting. Um, but I think that's kind of a cool way to carry a, a raven skull. And then he's also going to have... Um, a reliquary, um, some feathers, and other little bits added on as flair. But that's a cool pose. And I like I like that the thing is just like slung over his shoulder and he's rushing into battle. And then the last dude, this guy, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with him. Because he's going to be the sergeant. He's got this deep charge. His arm's kind of back. I played around with different arms on this side. He's got to have his heavy bolter. And this, this one doesn't have the heavy bolter in the holster, so I can't just like put an arm on him because it'd be like, hey, where's his gun? Did he toss it? Well, whatever. So my thought is he's kind of like charging, like he's going to slam into somebody. So I've got kind of a cool thing figured out for him, but he's going to be an Imperial Fist. And he is clearly about to wreck somebody. So he um, should look really cool when I'm done with him. So... That'll be the, uh, the short series. I'm going to put this in a playlist when I'm done with all of them. And when I'm done building and kit bashing these guys, I will, uh, or upgrading these guys, I will um, be painting them and figuring out what I want my color scheme to be. So, that's number one. And then his head is going to have this head. We'll just kind of test fit it. Pretty badass. Oh no, you got decapitated. <laughs> yeah, should be cool when he's done. So, alright, catch you in the next video.